Okay, we're back, and we're now on to step number 10, failsafe settings, part B, battery failsafe. So on this case, we're going to want to set our battery failsafe to essentially trigger, when the battery voltage gets to a low amount, we're going to want to land the quadcopter safely. So for starters, we're going to want to set the low voltage val value for the number of cells th that our battery has. So let's pop it open. Let's pop open our mission planner. We can go to COM4. Uh, we're connected. All right, so we go down to initial setup. We go to fail safes. We're on here. Now we're going to look at this little box right here, which says battery, low battery, preserve milliamp, and land. So the first part is going to be for the type of battery. So um, for um, our four cell battery, we're going to want to set to 12.5. Um, let's see, the other option too is a 3 cell would be 9.6. That's basically going to be a low battery voltage um, cutoff. And the next part is a reserve milliamp hour, which I have set for 1000. Um, we want to set the reserve to be about one third of the total, so for, or one fourth in this case. So we have, we have 4500, so I have it set at uh, 1000. And then the next part is we want to set this fail saving to be land. Disable, for example, won't do anything, and RTL will be returned to landing. All right, uh, let's see. Let's just check this out. Okay, so the, there's a warning sign here, so we want to read this. So, like, basically, every time the multiple is powered on, it's assuming that you put a freshly charged battery in. So, we should never operate it with a partially charged battery um, because the reserve milliamp hour setting will not work. And that could result in the loss of power while in flight. So keep that in mind when setting that up. And that's it for that's it for the battery fail safe.